Welcome back to Good Day Savannah. It's 744 right now. Folks on Tybee Island are gearing up for one of their biggest events of the year. Starting tonight, Tybee Island will host the 10th annual Tybee Island Pirate Fest. Well, it's a three-day festival full of good food, live music, and more. And with lots of swashbuckling, family-friendly fun, you better be there or you're going to walk the plank. Here to tell us all about this year's festival, Steve Kellum, president of Tybee Pirate Fest, and John Yarbrough, fe treasurer of the festival. Guys, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Well, Steve, I know you've been with the festival for a long time, uh, almost since its ince inception. Tell us a little bit about how it got started. This uh, event got started by an organization years ago trying to generate more business and revenue for Tybee in the off season. Mm -hmm. And it's now our 10th year. It's been very successful. and. Um, we hope to be here another 20, 30 years at least. Well, I was going to say, how have you guys seen it grow over the last few years, or over the last 10 years? Well, it started out very small, mm -hmm. and then uh, as the years went, we just started adding on, and now we have a uh, big thieves market, a whole lot of kids' activities. Mm -hmm. We have a uh, Ferris wheel and uh, pet and zoo and face painting and all kinds of stuff, and then we have entertainment. We have uh, Friday night three bands, and we have approximately seven bands on Saturday, and. Uh, a great event for anyone. Wow, and we're taking a look at some video right now from last year's festival. And John, tell us how the Tybee community really gets involved in, in the festival each year. Ah, uh, the community pulls together great. I mean, it, it, it takes the whole community to put this event on. Um, you know, this weekend is one of our biggest weekends of the year. It's right there with July 4th, Memorial Day, and Labor Day. And uh, without the support of the community, this event would not happen for sure. Well, but, I mean, it's just... Uh, it's outstanding how everyone comes together. It really, really is. And everybody just gets so excited about this event every year. And I know it all kicks off tonight with the Buccaneer Ball. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, um, the Crab Shack uh, um, hosts the Buccaneer Ball every year on a Thursday night. And uh, we crown our king and queen there. And uh, it's a great event. Yeah. Well, it, let's, we have a graphic with uh, specifics about the ball tonight. Let's go ahead and pull that up. It's happening this evening from 6 to 10 at the Crab Shack. Like Steve said, it's going to be $50 at the door. And, of course, uh, for more information on all of the other events, you can head to TybeePirateFest.com. Of course, we're going to have all of this information up on our website a little bit later, WJCL.com. Um, and then, like you said, it's truly a family-friendly event. Tell me some of the activities for the kids in case parents at home are watching. Ah, it, 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 lots of them. You know, starting with the parade. Mm -hmm. I think it's one of the greatest parades that, that, that Tybee had. All, all of them are great, but yeah. this one's just awesome. You got the big pirate ships coming down. You got the cannons going off. Uh, along with fireworks on Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, you know, inside the festival grounds, the, they just put the Ferris wheel up the other day, yeah. and it's absolutely gorgeous, an outstanding view you're going to have getting up on that. Um, got another ride for the children called the Sea Ray, and it's kind of like a swinging pirate ship. Mm -hmm. um, SCAD will come down and do, you know, lots of activities, I think, from 11 to 3 on Saturday. Um, it's just great for kids. I mean, yeah. it's uh, awesome. It's definitely, you know, geared towards the family. And something we see every year for, for people of all ages, the costume contest, that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. So if we, and what kind of, I mean, what kind of costumes do you see with all of this? You know, if you pretty much watched Pirates of the Caribbean, yeah. I mean, the, the, these costumes, I'm going, the, the, some of these people, I think, travel to Hollywood. <laughs> and, um, or have been extras and, and maybe took their costumes back yeah. home with them. They're, it's great. They're it's pretty awesome. elaborate, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> it excites me and, I, you know, I, it makes me a kid at heart. Well, we can't wait for another year of another great Pirate Fest. Thank you both so much for joining us to tell us all about it. We really appreciate it. And folks, if you haven't made it to your first Pirate Fest, you need to head out this year. Make sure you, uh, you get to see you have three days to catch all of the events. All right, well, we'll, we'll be right back on more Good Morning Savannah. It's 7.48 right now. We will be look at back with another look at your storm tracker forecast, so stay with us. 